ready for Solomon's Hey, giving the glory to God. Yeah, you're hanging with Jason and Sean. You ready for Solomon's <laughs> All right, so we have Sam Chase joining Hi, us everybody. this week on the show. Uh, so, so we're, we're going to have a discussion. This will be a friendly, uh, nice, cool, probably not long discussion though, because I feel like the obvious answers. But Sean's really good at being the uh, the devil's advocate. Uh, we actually did an episode one time where we picked each other's superpowers and name mm. for the superpower. Oh. My number one for him was Devil's Advocate. He can make anybody believe against what they I'm, actually. I'm do. willing to bet that Sam here is probably going to rival me. I'm big okay. Devil's Advocate. All right. Well, I, I'll I, tell you I, what. I think he can hold his own. So, so this week we're going to do a, a Who versus Who. We haven't done one in a while, so it's good to be able to get back into this. And because both of these ladies have movies coming up, uh, we have Birds of Prey. Uh, which is the and the fantabulous? What is it? And the fantabulous and uh, emancipation of one Harley Quinn. So that releases February seventh. So we got that, and uh, so we got Harley Quinn on one side. The other side we have Black Widow. Yes. And what's her movie come out? I don't March remember. something. You don't have it up there. Okay. I don't know. My daughter knows it off the top of her head. I should know it because it's like written everywhere. <laughs> it's on every calendar we have in the house. So the question is, why didn't we get here in, in here on this? Um, but I'm sorry. What? Why don't we get her in here to discuss this? I think yeah, I don't know why you have me in here. She, if she's she's grocery shopping. You would have been doing ah. it. Uh, anyway. it would have sent me grocery shopping. And <laughs> I, I could. Yeah, we could have done that. <laughs> done so, that. question is: In a battle, who would win between Black Widow and Harley Quinn? So uh, let's kind of go over some of the, the the strong points for both of them. Uh, anybody want to? So you did a little bit of research. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, so what do you think? Some of the strongest points for each are. Well, I think. The best com- the best way to compare them is to to look where they meet up. So they both have super serums in a way. Uh, Explain Harley Quinn. B- 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 well, Harley Quinn, um, she at one point teams up with Poison Ivy, and uh, Poison Ivy, uh, I guess, like injects or infects her with some kind of serum type thing that makes her resistant to poison, uh, faster, more acrobatic. Um, and that's where a lot of her, you know, fancy stuff comes from is the fact that she's somewhat enhanced. So she's um, Captain America for, <laughs> well, and, and, and Catwoman also. Has, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Same well, sort and of origin. it's in- interesting you say that because, uh, Black Widow, kind of is Captain America. The reason she has her powers is because the Russians were trying to uh, recreate the, the, the super soldier vi- or virus, <laughs> the, the super soldier serum. And obviously it was like the great value brand, but uh, it obviously gave her, you know, super speed. She, I think in one scene, she fights like a hundred guys and wins. She can dodge point blank gunshots um, just because she's so fast. That comes um, out May 1st, by the way, May 1st. Ah, May 1st. Well, there you go. Get to the theaters, people. So, yeah, I mean, and, and the thing about it is, uh, you know, and one of the points that I made is that she has been surrounded by all of these different incredible sources of knowledge, strength, training. She's trained with Captain America. You got the Hulk, so she knows how to deal with, like, the, the big brute force. Yep. Um, you, know, you got Iron Man, so yep. you got the in, in intelligence there that she's been able to work around so her wide range of people she's worked with helps her plus all of her red room yeah yeah i mean that that's just in addition to all of her hardcore training in the red room uh so harley quinn uh you know she's she's hung out with the joker Uh, okay okay but but so when this is already Sean to when in. we first introduced us, I was like, okay, so essentially, I see this as a Batman and Joker kind of versus. I agree. So the the element is is that there's a big difference in that. But go ahead. Well, yeah, and I'll give you the big difference in a minute. Okay, but anyway, the the thing that you, that you're talking about here is that Harley Quinn is just nuts yep so you've got this level of crazy that doesn't rationalize anything doesn't care about anything exactly. but the one objective so how do it's it, it goes back to you know batman and the joker how do you try to take out somebody who doesn't care about anything yep. so here's i've as i've been thinking about this uh I think I'm going to be devil's advocate today because I believe wholeheartedly that Harley Quinn wins this matchup. 
because so? so I think the original Black Widow initially appeared in sixty eight. Um and has been around since then, as like you said, trained with all these people, fought you know hundreds of bad guys, hundreds of good guys, uh, you name it. She's been there. My understanding of Black Widow is that she knows she's the best. She is confident in herself. She's been thirty five ever since she got the serum for like like sixty years ago, um, and Harley Quinn does not and will not fit into any of the models she has in her head. And I think just looking at the cast of people that uh, Black Widow has had to face off with, I don't think she's had to deal with that craziness that you're talking about. I don't think she's prepared to deal with that, especially since she's so thoroughly prepared to deal with literally everything else. Well, see, it's like, you know, Black Widow knows Kung Fu, Harley Quinn knows crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I think what, Black Widow doesn't know how to go against crazy only kung fu. Yeah, and and what other like thirteen other martial arts forms and some new martial art form that she made with some hero I can't remember the name of. And uh, and, and the other thing too was that the question is one is is is, the, is Black Widow willing to kill? Yep, like is she willing to kill Harley Quinn because that's that's a big thing. Like Batman, he's not willing to kill Joker for anything, um, which is why Joker keeps coming back. Exactly, but the question is, would Black Widow? bring her stuff to actually kill and I don't see any reason why she wouldn't which is why I kind of give those points to Black Widow because Black Widow in the comics will kill anybody who's evil like she doesn't really care especially right now in the current run um, but even with the Red Room training she's done a lot of killing you know and yeah and she's tried to cut that back and try to make herself a better person by working with the Avengers and working with shield things like that but somebody against like Harley uh, if Harley was putting other people's lives in risk, if she was doing the Joker thing, like killing anybody at any point, not really caring, then I think Black Widow might would try to kill her. But would she be too busy trying to save the other people? And that, that's the other question, yeah. too, was like if this battle was around a community of people, you know, in an area that, at a circus, you know, things like that, uh, I think Harley is going to have the upper hand because she is illogical. Yep. And Harley Quinn's and, not, and uh, unpredictable, exactly. Yeah. And so it's like I, I, I think that that's Black Widow's biggest downside yep. is that she's going to rely on predictability. Right there, I do this, this happens next. Yep. Which is yeah. funny because that's exactly what Taskmaster is going to do in the movie. Yeah, against her. Yep, pretty um, much. So, but I well, think some of the weaknesses with Harley Quinn is that she, I mean it's, it's kind of a weakness in that she's not calculated, so she's not thinking about her next move as she does his current move, and that can be a downfall. Yeah. I think, though, the as I was thinking about how this matchup would end, like at the end of the fight, what would I see? I was filled with this image of... Uh, a little Lord of the Rings reference for everybody. You remember in <laughs> Fellowship of the Ring when Aragorn stabs the uruk High and he pulls the sword into him to, like, growl in his face? I can see Harley Quinn taking a Pyrrhic victory. Oh, like, definitely. I just got both my legs blown off, and as you were gloating over top of me, I shot you in the face. Yeah. Like, she doesn't... I, I, I pulled the pin on the grenade. Yeah. And, yeah. and now I'm going to die, but so are you. Yes, so are and you. if I'm the one that killed you and killed myself, I think I win. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. I, th I think... Harley Quinn uh, or Black Widow is too human. She has mm. too many sensibilities. Harley Quinn has none of that. She is no. cracked wide open. So stuff that to us may be like, you're not going to win if you jump off this 10 story building and expect her to jump after you. But that's exactly the kind of thing that's going to work against someone who's as experienced as Black Widow. So, so let me put it like this then, because I, 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 I feel like, parameters here uh are are really the 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 dictating force for us as it is with any of these verses so if black widow against harley nothing in in their pockets they've got no tricks straight hand to hand just hand to hand in a stone square room. just fist yeah just fisticuffs the octagon the nothing octagon. else there yeah exactly Who's going to beat who? Black Widow. I'll say Black Widow in that case. Yeah, yep. I agree. Because Harley's going to Harley would play dirty, but uh, once you take out variables like that, once you make it, you are just a person. 
uh, I think Black Widow wins 100% yeah. of the time. Once yeah. you bring in things like explosives and poisons, which they're both resistant to poison, actually, so I guess that doesn't really Or if you go to Walmart or, and yeah, they're just shopping yeah. around and they see each other and they're like, hey, you, let's fight. Now there's people I think, there. <laughs> I think yeah. Harley Quinn's got the win. Yeah. Well, Harley Quinn will use a box of cornflakes somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, those are my... I hate cornflakes. I'm allergic to those. And now you're in anaphylactic shock and you lose. (laughs) She's smothering herself in peanut butter so she can't hit her. She's like, (laughs) come on. (laughs) You thought you could defeat me with with weapons and guns? No, I have the strongest weapon of all. Anaphylactic shock. (laughs) I I, I do think it's interesting, though. Uh, So we have Black Widow, uh, her first appearance in Tales of Suspense, uh, number 52. It was published in 1964. 64, Where she was not... Not like, I mean, she's like wearing a fur and yeah. a fancy dress and, a veil. and stuff. Yeah, and um, that's almost like Iron Man too. And 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 then we don't get Harley until what the ninety one. But she yeah. was introduced in the in an animated right, yep. not even in the comics. Yep. Right, exactly. Which so. I think you bring up an interesting point because uh, anyone who I you don't even have to be a fan of comics to be familiar with the idea of power creep. Just how over time, in order to keep impressing people, you have to get stronger. I have no doubt that if Harley Quinn had also, uh, you know, been conceptualized and put into print in '64, she'd be have just as many cool skills and feats as Black Widow does. Black Widow has just had 30 more years to have her power steadily increase. Yeah, and, and that's what I was going to get at is that we, we, we've had a lot more time to be able to develop this character <clears throat> because even if we look at Iron Man at that time. That's like the first Iron Man suit, almost, yeah. almost not not quite, but very early, bulky, barely does anything. It's really just a walking tank, you, you know. And now, where is he? You know, we, we've got the micro, whatever stuff. Now, yeah. I don't even keep up with that now. The nano, so, nanotech, nanotech, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and see, the weird thing about Black Widow is they're really leaning more on her intelligence and her ability to fight. And with Harley Quinn, they're just trying to figure out how much more crazy she can get. Yeah. And so really it does become Kung Fu against crazy. Yeah. Essentially is what it battles down to. Uh, so, you know, interesting. And then just real quick. So people were talking about, whenever I posted this up, uh, almost everybody said Black Widow. Mm-hmm. Just about across the board. But then somebody was like, are you talking about the, the upcoming films? Or are you talking about them fighting like, you know, in person? I'm like, if anybody thinks Harley Quinn film is going to do, or the Birds of Prey film, which is a Harley Quinn film, is going to do better in Black Widow, they're way more off base than even if they were to say Harley Quinn would win in a hand to hand. You calling us off in base? The octagon. You got something to say to us? I'm, I'm very off base. <laughs> do you think Birds <laughs> of Prey could because actually? I think that Sam and I both agree that Harley would beat Black Widow. I'm talking about hand to hand in octagon. R- right? No, hand-to-hand. no, no. Just in general. In general. So I, I, don't, I still don't know. But but know. but movie wise, I, I, we're all on the same. Yeah, yeah Black Widow's going to annihilate Mop. Yeah, do you absolutely. think Black Widow is going to be the top grossing film this year? No, no, too I early. I, I don't know what else is supposed to release this year. 